Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel. See the Sudha Truth Lies Within, and today we're going to do the recording for 10th of March and 11th, 12th, and today's 13th. So, you're going to listen to three days of godly blessing one after the other. So, let's do the recording of today's blessing. In today's blessing, God wants us to become complete with all the virtues and all the powers so that none of the situations that we face has any effect on us. Let's find out in details. In the heading, Baba says, May you be a constantly satisfied soul who experiences contentment on the basis of your fullness. So, what is the basis of contentment? Is fullness. Full with godly wisdom. Full with godly values. Full with godly virtues. When we are full, we are then not finding or looking for any reasons and we don't have any questions then after that as why, when, what, why not, who and automatically we are stable in our mind. We are not sending or throwing out tentacles of whys and whens and whats and attaching ourselves for happiness, for contentment on the basis of the response we get in return for the people whom we are questioning with why, when, what, where, how. Because that's a method of controlling situations, that's a method of controlling people, that's a method of controlling an outcome. And we know that every soul is individual and we cannot control everybody and everything around us. What we can do is we can be stable in all the situations around us and then we'll feel contented. So no more questions. Let's find out. Baba says, those who are constantly complete and full are satisfied. No matter how many situations come in front of them to make them discontent. Souls who are complete and satisfied will donate the virtue of contentment in the form of cooperation to the souls. They will be able to cooperate with the souls who try to make them discontent. So that means they will have the power to face souls who are asking them why not this, why that, how this. Because you can also be bombarded with those questions, isn't it? Like, if you bombard those questions on a person, why did you do this? How did this happen? What made you think this? So, the same things can come upon you. And other souls who are discontented with you can try to put on or point fingers towards you. And at that time, if you're full and complete, you will say, let me cooperate more. What do you want? Let me help you out with more things. Rather than getting angry getting confronting, getting very frustrated or having any negative kind of view towards it. You won't be affected by their words which are like sharp arrows but you'll be so powerful and so contented within yourself complete with all the virtues and values that there's no hole within you or in your armor of values and virtues that can be pierced by anybody. So how do you do that? That comes over a period of time with experience and with godly knowledge and also with meditation. Meditating on Supreme Creator. So God says then, such souls are merciful. They won't feel any kind of attack coming onto them. They'll rather be helping the other soul who's discontented to become contented and will try to transform those souls with their good wishes and pure feelings. They won't have any disheartenment, they won't have any anguish or anger or any kind of rage or any form of revenge taking attitude towards the souls who are making or trying to make them discontent. So are you that kind of soul and if you want to become that soul who is always current in any situation, you can learn the Brahma Kumari 7 day course for free. Then Baba says, this is the elevated karma of spiritually royal souls. So spirituality and royalty goes hand in hand. How do you become that? Again, Brahma Kumaris teaches you all this knowledge for free in 150 countries and you can find out this knowledge in a place, in your city, very soon. It's just a click away. With this Om Shanti.